Alright lads, we're coming another episode of the Pars Roundup. If you're kind of new to this, then obviously it's kind of what it says in the tin. It's just a roundup of all the dumb filming news over the last week or so. I mean, I've not done these in two weeks' time, so I'd imagine I'll probably cover what's happened in the last two weeks. But aye, enjoy. The last time I did one of these, the next game on that sign was Inverness at home. And of course that game was a bit of a downfall for us. 3-0 loss at home and it really wasn't a good day, was it? We never really played well enough to get anything for the game, especially at home. We need to be winning those type of games or at least putting up some form of challenge. And we just didn't all throughout the game. And the players owned up to that really in their interviews after it. It was just a poor day for us at the office and there has been a few of them over the last few weeks. So here's hoping that this weekend we can finally get back to winning ways in the league. Especially at home because as I said, they're the type of games that we need to be winning if we're going to form any sort of challenge this season. Because the home games, when you're a team like Dunfermline in this league, you have to be winning them. It's just your bread and butter, eh? The league's our priority, and you're not going to get anywhere in the league if you've not got decent enough home form, because away from home, it's always a struggle. But at home, you have to be proven that you can fight up the top end of the table. After the Inverness game, just at the weekend past there, we had Bournemouth away, and I wasn't actually planning to go to that game when it was the Inverness home game. My bus had been cancelled, so I wasn't really planning to go to the game at all. I didn't really have a way of transport. And then I went into Marvin, Marvin Stewart's wee shop at the club and she kind of persuaded me to go and join on their bus and book out the Ibis Hotel and stuff so I ended up there and saw the game of course. We didn't play entirely well, we were the better team. Bourne would definitely let me down in a way because I thought they were going to be so much better than they were. Just as a team in general I didn't obviously want them to come away with anything but I expected a bit more of a contest for them. They didn't really offer that. They offered threat in terms of their height and stuff and their physicality but apart from that they didn't really have much quality on the ball. We definitely did have more but we just didn't really show up properly again. That really needs to kind of improve. Of course one positive that we did have was a clean sheet and we've not had one of them in weeks it seems. I think the last one was against Dundee away in the Betfred Cup which was the end of July for Christ's sake so that's the positive that we can take for it that we finally kept tight at the back and didn't concede a goal and we won the game and got through to the next round and we got Alwa at home which will be in a few weeks time but for now that's the next game. Back on league business against Alwa, the kind of team that you're expecting to finish bottom of the league this season and without being harsh to them I think everyone is expecting Alwa to finish bottom. They've done well so far, they've got points against Dundee United and Inverness. You can't really have a go at them now because they're doing exactly what you would probably expect them to do. They've got one less point than us and they're playing some decent football as well. They've got good players on the ball, they've got players like Ian Flanagan, they've got striker and Greg Spence who can score goals at every level he's at really. Maybe not consistently but he can score them. They've got Alan Troughton who has always scored goals when he's been down in League One. So can he replicate that in the league above? Who knows? Neil Parry in goals, Scott Taggart at right back and Andy Graham, I think he's their captain and he's at the back in defence for them. So they've got some good players, good talent. I just don't think they're going to have enough this season if I'm being honest and that's why I think that we should definitely be getting through this game with three points and nothing else. We really need to kickstart our season and if we had to win against Inverness in my opinion then we really need to win against Alo. There's no excuse for it. We can't go into this game and then come out of it with less than three points. These are the type of games that really kind of shape a season. And even this early, these kind of games can completely derail what's happening at a club. Because even in our situation right now, we've had three straight league losses and we really need to bounce back in the league especially. Obviously we've got the cup win, but apart from that, we've not done much in the last few weeks. So... This game is the perfect opportunity to bounce back and finally do that. In terms of my team, I'm going to make a pop up at the side just now. I'm going to do it one by one, talk about why I would have them in the team for this week. It's kind of a difficult one to choose, just simply due to the fact that Johnson said that a few players have got a few niggles and he never really mentioned any names with that, apart from Ryan Williamson coming back for international duty. So I'm not too sure who I'll expect to get picked, but this is the team I would pick based on what I know. If I were picking the team based on full fitness because as I said I don't know who's not fit, this is the team I would pick. I'd stick with Robinson and goal just simply down to the fact that 
I mean, I don't expect anything else. I think he will just stay in goal. Since Ryan Williamson's got that wee niggle coming back for international duty, I think we'll probably rest him again. And James Cregan played decent enough at right back at Bournemouth, so I think he might just slot back in there. In the middle of defence, I mean, I probably expect Dunner and Ashcroft to be there, so Mark Dunner up first. I think he's quite an average defender, and that's just my personal opinion. You can have your own, obviously, but I just don't rate the guy as much. I would prefer Danny Devine to be playing alongside Ashcroft. I think Danny Devine's the better defender in total, but I can't see AJ dropping him just for no reason really. And Lee Ashcroft, of course he should play because he's the captain and aye, it's kind of a simple one to pick really. Jackson Longridge at left back, perhaps our best player, best signing definitely in my opinion. Louis Longridge close up, so the two Longridge brothers have really been our best signings in my opinion. Jackson Longridge has been a standout at left back in my opinion. We always seem to get consistent left backs now with Jason Talbot before and a lot of fans were gutted to let him go, but Jackson Longridge has been a very capable replacement. I don't know, I just love him. Right wing, I'm going to pick Higgy. I've made an error, Higgy's well out with an injury, so Miles Hippolyte goes in at right wing instead of Higgy. I'll probably go with the same two that started last week, Vincent. Again, a player that is neat and tidy, does the job, so no complaints really. And Joe Thompson, I really rate this guy and I feel like he's our engine in the middle of the park. I just don't see why we shouldn't have him in the team because he does drive the team forward and whilst he's still young, he's got a lot to learn in terms of just playing the position. I feel like we are a different team with him in it, so I would have him in the centre of the park next to James Vincent. Left wing, Louis Longridge. I think, as I said, with Jackson Longridge, he's been one of our best signings. So, I see no reason why we shouldn't play him. He's a good technical player, he's good on the ball, and I, I just think he should play this game just simply due to the fact that he could easily unlock a defence. Up front, I'm going to go with Faisal and Robbie Muirhead because I think Robbie Muirhead got his first 90 minutes last week and he played reasonably well, scored the penalty as well, the, the winning penalty, and it was a brilliant penalty at that. He offers us something different, as I've mentioned in previous videos, he offers us that height and a different sort of presence. So, I wouldn't be surprised to see him start at all and give him more minutes to build up his fitness. Faisal, it's kind of the obvious pick. He's kind of turning into the player that doesn't seem to ever be dropped, but he's a workhorse and you love Faisal, so I'm not complaining that he's going to be starting because... I'm starting him in my team. I just feel that he needs to start getting goals and this is the ideal game for him to do that, especially against the team that is meant to be the weakest in the league. So there's my team on screen just now. I'll let you kind of look over it and then you can comment down below what your team would be because it's a topic that everyone will have a different opinion on. So I'll be interested to see what you would pick for your team for tomorrow. But I, as I said, this game it has to be three points. It's such an important game for our league season even this early on, a home game against the supposed weakest opposition, everyone would want to be winning that, every other team in the league would want to be winning that. Whilst Alawa, as I said, have done well and they've got points against teams that you wouldn't have expected them to, we have to be doing better than that. If I were to give a score prediction, I'd probably go with 2-0 Dunfermline. I think that we will keep an our clean sheet. I don't know if we'll be free-flowing goals, I don't think we will anyway. 2-0, goal scorers, Faisal to finally get a first league goal and Joe Thompson, engine in the middle of the park, I think he'll get another goal. And that's it for this video guys, cheers for watching, if you did enjoy please give it a like, comment down below anything you thought, as I said comment your team and I'll reply to it letting you know what I think of your decision, because as I said, it's an opinionated thing. And subscribe for more of this type of content. And until the next video, I'll see you then. Cheers guys. Oh,